Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully you're having a great, great day. Today we're going to see Snow White continue to be insufferable. This is with Michael Knowles and yeah. Guys, hopefully you enjoy these kind of things like in, in the video right now. I am trying to, to be different. Uh, let me see. Let me know what is your opinion. Uh, and let's just dive right into it. Let's go. Breaking news for the day. Uh, the lady playing Snow White who is, she's very intentionally not particularly white. Uh, so we've been calling her Sand Beige. Uh, this lady, who's a far okay. left wing, pretty insufferable lady, she, she's she got another hit. Take it away. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently okay. so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird, yeah, weird. Super Weird. So we didn't do that this time. So no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yep. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. <laughs> so chaotic. Intentional at this point, right? Yeah. Disney has to be trotting this lady out. Probably put her through rigorous acting training to say, be as insufferable as you possibly can. Be yeah. as off-putting to our core audience as you possibly can be. Yeah, please. So that <laughs> it will generate controversy and people will talk about it. It has oh, to be. Oh, yeah, I it's a marketing thing. That okay, is what Disney okay. is doing. Okay. That makes sense. That at least, it, it's working. Obviously, we're talking about it. If Disney is just accidentally doing this, then they are even sicker in the head than I previously thought. They're crazy. They're masochists to do it. Yeah, it's not going to be like that old story. You know, if a man ever pursues a woman, he's basically a stalker. Oh. Yeah, we don't have love oh. in this movie. Uh, that's so dated. Love? Uh-uh. No. No, we just have cold, sterile loneliness, okay? That's what people want today, all right? It's 2023. You get with the program. <laughs> Putting aside what she's saying about the oh, movie. Yeah. Putting aside the movie, which I, I don't think I'm ever going to see. I don't like these kind of movies. I, I, I are don't. not going to argue this type of person out of misery. This gets back to what we were talking about with the 14-year-old beheading people in Mexico. You will, you will never argue. There's a 14-year-old beheading people. You're unlikely to argue this person out of misery. She comes out. She mocks love. She seems contemptuous. She was complaining in another clip about having to put on the costume of Snow White. This little girl gets to live out the fantasy of so many little girls. She gets to be a big movie star in one of the most delightful little fairy tales yeah. ever written in a remake of one of the most iconic movies of all time. And she's complaining about it. Of course, people like this who are constantly full of resentment and envy, they're, they're, they're always complaining about everything. Right now, go to genucell.com slash Knowles. Yeah, I am with him because... Dude, like, she, if she's, like, this is her, like, any, any, any little girl dream. And if she can't see this, I don't know what's happening to her. I really don't know what's happening to her. So, this is an ad. Uh, go to his uh, code and, and, yeah, make him some money and see what he's talking about. All right. Luxury gift while well, supplies last. Genucell.com slash Knowles YT. People like this, who are constantly full of resentment and envy, they're 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 always complaining about everything. Mm -hmm. Not even in a way that's constructive. No, like it's... you know, sometimes we'll complain on this show, like, hey, they're changing the voting rules in Pennsylvania, and that's illegal, and they shouldn't do that. that I hope that's constructive in some way, calling attention to a political problem and trying to fix it. Yeah. But just saying, oh, I don't want to put on the costume. Ugh, love, yucky. Bleh. Men are stalkers. <laughs> you know, that's come on. That's a different kind of complaint. That's a fruitless complaining. Yeah. And it's it's complaining about good things and trying to turn good things to bad. But you'll never argue that person out of misery because it's about a disposition, because it's not just about 
rational arguments, you could say, well, no, actually, the prince isn't really a stalker, and actually, love is a good thing, and actually, the sexes are complementary, and here's why, biologically, and here's why, uh, spiritually, and here's why, it doesn't matter, it's about desire. <laughs> it's about what you're attracted to. And those things are a little bit deeper. Okay. Virtue cares about your feelings. Politics cares about your feelings. We are, are not just robots, okay? We're not just of course. computers. Yeah. At various points in history, it, it seems to me people uh, base their views of how the mind works or how the brain works now. We make everything so physical on onto the dominant technology at the time. So a good example of this would be when st steamboats, steam engines were a dominant technology. Okay. You had a theory of the mind coming from Freud that, that viewed the mind as a kind of a steam engine. You know, it was just you filled it with, then you got blow off a little steam sometimes. That's contrary to the classical view of the mind and virtue, which is, no, you don't, you don't engage in vice to blow off a little steam so you can be more virtuous. You actually never do that because virtue is a habit. It's not just a, a vice is not just a yeah. thing to be, to be yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I indulged and then blown off a little bit. That, that it's, it's a totally opposite view. Yeah. Vice is a thing that will totally create with other habits and addictions. So, but we changed our theory of the mind when that was a dominant technology. Now the computer is the dominant technology, so we view the mind as just a machine. I'm going to download information. We even have these fantasies that we're going to plug our heads into the matrix or something like that. The, the <laughs> mind isn't just a computer either. Every, everybody has this fantasy. Because a computer doesn't have desires. Chat GPT, AI, they don't have actual desires. Human beings do have desires, and we're attracted to things. And we're going to pursue our desires, whether they're reasonable or not. We hope that those desires are in accord with reason. That's what education is about, is about, is about bringing our desires into accord with right reason. But today, a whole generation of people, more than a whole generation, has been raised to turn their desires away from things that are good and natural and conducive to flourishing and toward things that are deviant and ugly and are going to mess them up. Yeah. And are going to lead them to have miserable lives. Of course. That's where we are. If you want to fix that, okay, make some rational arguments. That's fine. I, I feel the same way about all the legal arguments about Trump. They're not, they're not basing the prosecution of the persecution of Trump on legal arguments. They're doing it based on the desire to get him and put him in prison for over 700 years or kill him. That's what it's about. It's, so you, you've got to address not just the reason, but the desire, and then oh, ideally bring the two yeah, yeah, together. Yeah. Man, what yeah. a great clip that was. He, he, is, he is right. He's right. I'm going to tell you right now. He is right. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know these uh, these girls and uh, their political agenda. I think it's it's not the the actual little girls. No, but I don't know Disney. Maybe I don't know uh, political agenda. Everything is have to do to, to politics. Every had, had to do with with wokeness. I don't know, dude. This is like a very like Snow White. This is like very traditional kind of. Uh, story and uh, not only like this like that it's it's typical typical princess prince kind of story and they they bring every wokeness into it and it's it's really really bad it's really bad for the company even to you see you see well when you okay if you are woke like a little bit like a like a 10 percent well, the people they're gonna we're gonna see you, and they're gonna say, like they're gonna go. Okay, all right. He is a little bit woke. It's okay. It's okay. This company a little bit. Oh, it's okay. But when you do like really like go over the line, it's it's cringy. It's nobody's gonna like it anymore. It's I don't think this uh, Snow White movie. Well, no, I I think he's gonna it's gonna do well, but it's gonna do as well as they think. Because like, come on, it is a kid movie, and everyone wants their kids to do, to go and see movies, you know. Unless like they did like a like unthinkable things things in in the movie, but yeah. Uh, anyway, like I really want this girl, this actress, to do to, to, to just take like just consider everything around her is very good. Whatever the story, whatever the thing, like you are you are picked. To a beautiful big role in a very big company, and li this is literally the dream of like ninety percent or ninety-five percent of all the girls around the world. 
So please enjoy. Enjoy for your sake, for not our sake. Please enjoy. This is life. Enjoy it, right? Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.